It's a nanochip that is only one-seventh of one millimeter squared in size. It has GPS capability, sometimes called smart dust, as they can be sprayed on us, absorbed in the sweat pores of the skin, taken in foods, drinks, injected, and also inserted through the nasal passage with a cotton swab. They have a two-axis magnetic sensor to track direction. Remember that magnetism. An accelerometer to track speed, light intensity sensor, humidity sensor, pressure sensor, even a temperature sensor, and can transmit wireless to the smart grid Internet of Things and the cloud, literally hooking up its human biological host to the smart grid tracking system like a walking, breathing smartphone. Notice the nanobot technology where microscopic computers basically can infest a human. It can take over their thoughts and all muscle function. Uh, basically, you would be able to be controlled by these parasitic uh, devices. Uh, the technology has already been developed, it's already been tested. I personally was involved in several experiments through the use of nanotechnology, and the results were terrifying. Digital proof of vaccination. Places like entertainment venues or airports might soon require people to show proof of being vaccinated for COVID-19. If you're traveling to the U.S., you don't need to show a COVID-19 vaccination card yet, but Patrick Tracy with Appleton International Airport says there are half a dozen digital health passports already in the development. They show proof of COVID-19 vaccination or negative tests. The proof of COVID-19 test or potential proof of vaccination that would be located within the airline system as part of your travel documents, said Tracy. Here's what people are really thinking about this.